the DV theme builder is comprised of two parts. We have the builder itself and we also have the theme. Although the builder has been updated over the years, the theme has been lacking behind and as a result of that, we don't have a lot of features. In this video, I wanna show you how to use a totally different theme, but this time we are going to be using the Divi plugin. Let me show you how. So over here, normally when we go to our products, we download the Divi theme, which is this one right here. But oftentimes we don't really talk about the plugin itself. So in this example, let's download the plugin so to do that, you can just download over here like that, and then now it's downloaded. Now, I've already gone ahead and installed it on my new site here. So to install it, you have to come over here to plugins and then click on add new. Next, you want to click on upload and then upload the plugin and then activate it. And the theme we are going to be using is the most powerful theme out there that I've ever used. It is the Astra theme. So to install the Astra theme, you want to come over here to appearance and then click on themes. Next, you want to search for Astra, and you can see here, usually it's one of the first ones. You click on install and activate, but I've gone ahead and installed the pro version because this is what has all the features. In fact, let me show you quickly what I was able to do in a very, very short time. So over here, I was able to create this header here with the button and also uh, this WooCommerce icon here. So let me show you how that's done. So once Astra is installed, what you wanna do is to come over here on the top and then click on dashboard. So this is going to take you to the main Astra dashboard where you have a lot of customizations. So here, if you want to customize the site identity, this is where you would click and this is the header builder and so on. So let me show you how the header builder works. So I'm going to click here and open this in a new tab. So here is our header builder. So all you have to do is to drag or add anything that you want to add in here. So at the moment, this is what it looks like. So let's say I want to delete this cart item. I can just go ahead and delete it and that is gone. All I have now is just my button. At any point, if I need to add more items here, so let's say I want to add another button, I will just click over here, select my button, and now you can see my button is now showing. This is now where I can just drag and drop it wherever I want, and in real time, we can see where the buttons are. So this could be a login, and this one here could be a sign up, and to customize the button, you wanna come over here to the button, click on it, and then you can go ahead and give it a title. So. Uh, this one here can be sign up and then you can easily publish it. Now there's also some controls here on the bottom. We can uh, work on our mobile view here. And now you can see we can go ahead and customize this as well. But everything out of the box works really, really well. But now not only can you uh, do the header, but there's a lot that we can customize here. We can do our page headers. We can do WooCommerce, custom layouts, site layouts, blog pro. We can also do our typography. Now this here is very, very important because if we set our typography here at this point, it is going to adjust across the whole website. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So if I click here on customize, I can go into my body font here and uh, set it up. So right now I've set it to Poppins. I've also set my size over here and I can also do this with my screens. For our headings font, I can always come over here and I can leave it as inherit because this is the main one that I've just set up. But over here on our weight, I can go for bold just to make sure that all my headings are bold. And then once I'm done with that, I can hit publish. Now I can continue on and also add my heading one, two, three, and four and so on. Now, what I also really like about this is I can also set up my colors over here. So if I click on colors, we have a default color palette here, but I can always go in here and customize this. And all these colors are going to be applied pretty much across the whole website. So this is very, very powerful because we have one central place that we can set up our colors. So if I come over here to the global palettes, I can go in and choose style number two. For example, I can go for style number three and so on. But the cool thing is if I need to change any colors here, I can go in and recreate uh, all these colors here and choose my own colors. So let's say my accent color here changes, uh, changed. I can just update it here and it updates across the whole website. So this is a very, very powerful system to set up if you want to use an advanced theme for your website. So let's say everything is done here. I can hit publish. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like when we start building our pages on our website. So if I come over here now to a blank page, if I click on Enable Visual Builder, we are going to notice that we have access now to our builder. So I can build from scratch. So let's say I want to start off with a three, three column structure. And over here, I want to add a blurb. 
I can just go ahead and do that. And you're going to notice something very interesting here. You see now that our text here has come in as Poppins, which is the font that I set up earlier on in the theme options. So now I can go in here and customize this from default here. If I need to change it here, I can go in and say Playfair display, or let's go with this one here. So now you can see it has been updated, but if you want to keep it as a default, we can just leave it like that. And for our font title here, we can make it bold and we can always go ahead and also change the colors here if we needed to. So everything else just works the same as we would if we're using the DV theme and the builder all in ones, like how we normally do. So now let's go ahead and save. Next, let's add a full width header here and see what this looks like. So I'm gonna go into my design layout and I'm going to make this full screen and then I can go back to my content here go to my background and select an image so I'm going to click here on this plus button and let's say I want to use this image here I can upload it all right so let's go ahead and save and I can always do my usual drag and drop and everything is working fine but the most important thing is I am using the Astra theme and the Astra theme is super, super fast and it's full of features. So let's say all this is uh, done. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we install our presets. Are they going to work? So I'm gonna come over here and click on new page. So let's give this page a name. I'm gonna call this style, use DV Builder, build from scratch. So what I'm going to do now is to use my DV Design Guide Pro and see if all my presets are going to be added onto our site. So here is my file, it's unzipped. I'm gonna drag and drop it here, import presets, and then I'm gonna go ahead and import. Okay, so it looks like everything has been imported. Now I'm gonna hit publish. Let's go back to our page now and see if this is going to work. So I'm going to refresh this. So now if I come over here to my settings, click on this drop down. I can now see that all my presets have been added and this is really, really cool. So I'm gonna go with this one right here. And right away, you can see that all my styles have been applied and I really, really like that. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my blurbs. I click on this first one here, click on the drop down. So let's try blurb number four. And already I can see my style has been added there. All I have to do is to go into my icon here, activate, use icon, and let's say I'm gonna go with this one. And right away you can see that all my colors, my design has been updated. And let's try a different one here. This time I'm gonna go with number seven. Let's add our image. And there we go. So the styling is working perfectly. And let's say I want to change this image. I can always go all the way down here to my background, click on the third tab, and then I can just choose a totally different image. I'm gonna go with this one here, click on upload. And then over here on the text, I can add my subtitle and my design is now being updated. And as you can see, I can work really, really easy all my presets have been saved, which means I can design my website super, super fast. Now let's dial back and take a look at more features that this theme has. So we also have features like the mega menu. So you can go in and style this menu here out of the box with the Astra theme. So these are the sort of things that we don't have if we use Divi out of the box uh, as the theme builder. So if you're a Divi user and you want to take your designs to the next level with an updated theme, this is the way forward. I highly recommend the Astra theme. It's really, really powerful and it has a lot of features. In fact, I'm going to do a full review of the Astra theme. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.